this space in the Somali capital city of Mogadishu is now the biggest military post and training camp Turkey has overseas. The Turkish government began its construction in March 2015 with a budget of $50 million. Somali Prime Minister Hassan Ali Khairi attended the opening ceremony and said Turkey's initiative is part of a strategic partnership that is based on mutual agreements. This military base will definitely help rehabilitate the country's armed forces and boost our capabilities to combat the terrorist groups. The military compound contains three military schools, dormitories and depots over an area of four square kilometers. A number of countries have military bases in Somalia, but this Turkish compound is said to be the only one that offers military training and education to Somali students, and the academy that will be in charge of those programs opens today. Turkey has been active in Somalia since 2011. The Turkish government has aimed to help the country strengthen its public institutions and combat the constant terror attacks. Local sources say that just a day ago, a Shabab radical group attacked an army base, killed at least 20 soldiers and looted equipment. I pay my condolence to the Somali government about the latest terrorist attack that killed several soldiers. With our mutual cooperation, I do believe that together we will defeat terrorism. Around 200 Turkish soldiers have been deployed at the base. They will be training more than 1,500 troops at a time. And this year's 150 students make up the first group of trainees. Analysts say Turkey has an interest to establish itself as a growing international power in this part of Africa. In this part of Africa, we all know that the geopolitical strategy of Somalia has the potential to tackle all kind of terrorism. And Somalia hopes that with the help of Turkey, it can finally defeat the terror group that have been active throughout the country for decades. Ahmed Al-Burai, TRT Word, Mogadishu, Somalia.